Playing a bigger part than ever in events today is that lifeboat of the air, the parachute. And here it is in the making. The body of the chute consists of a special silk, and every bit of it has to undergo a scientific test to ensure that it'll stand up to the heaviest strain it's likely to meet. The silken panels of the parachute are sewn together with an ingenious four-stitch machine, and the seams are reinforced with binding. The suspension, or shroud lines, are silk cords entirely free from knots and splices. They're stretched on a machine that also makes them of uniform length. And like the body and harness, each cord is tested. It has to be able to pull 400 pounds. The shroud lines pass through one side of the chute, go over the top and down the other side. That arrangement balances the chute and helps the airman to avoid a dangerous landing. Apparatus like this can withstand the shock of a 600 pound load when released at 100 miles an hour. A miniature parachute called the pilot is released before the big fellow and guides it into the line of flight. The folding and stowing away of the parachute is a very ingenious business. And with so much depending on its accuracy, a very important business too. Each individual silk panel is folded to fit without overlap. The shroud lines go into cordage pockets and the chute is made ready for stowing. The men who do this job are highly skilled as well they need be. Without expert knowledge and experience, the consequences might be serious. The container or pack is so arranged that the shroud lines are separated from the chute and flaps keep the pilot from the main chute. It's secured by a ripcord pulled by a ring. The average time for a parachute to open and ascend at a normal rate of 16 feet a second is one and three-fifths seconds after the ripcord has been pulled. A salute then to these lifeboats of the air.